Hello guys, I'm Peter from Builder Boeing. <laughs> I did a video a few days ago about televisions or projectors uh, for my setup and my conclusion was I'm going to go with televisions right now. I've been using projectors for six years and I have a curved screen, a 180 degree curved screen that goes from here and goes all the way around behind you over there on the cat's inside uh, that I've used with the projectors. But as I'm not using projectors anymore, um, the curved screen needs to go because it's just taking up space. But I just realized that I don't think I ever made a video about how to make a curved screen, which is a bit of a shame because it's actually very, very easy to do and shouldn't be what's holding you back if you want a projector for your sim. So let's dive into it. So taking this guy down, taking this down is going to be a bit emotional because I've really enjoyed having a 180 degree uh, projected screen. But as I mentioned in the other video, I find the TVs better, easier to work with, and the image quality is, is so much better. But before taking it all down, let me just show you two things. First of all, how easy you can get started and how I made the structure. So first thing is the materials I've used. It's mainly wood and then uh, the screen here. And the screen, I've, I've had two different things going here. In the center, I have a roller curtain from Ikea. Um, and that's very good. And uh, I found, I, I bought that in, in Ikea and put it up and the image quality is, 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 is actually very good. I looked into buying one piece curved screen material that goes all the way around. Now this is four meters and 50 across. And uh, if you calculate the length of the screen, it's around 10 or 12 meters. So buying 12 meters of, of, of uh, screen material would stand me in something like, well, I can't remember right now, but it was quite expensive. Uh, we're talking five, 600 euros dollars for material for, for this screen. So I tried with the curtain over there and then I tried on the sides here, I have actually used a sheet, bed sheet. And I know now you're going to say, well, Peter, that's why the image quality isn't that good. Well, the difference between the IKEA curtain and the bed sheet here, it isn't that big. So if you're starting this and, and, and want, just want to get going, you can just use bed sheets. It's OK. Then if you find it uh, at a later point, you can always upgrade to something else. But bed sheets, it will work. So that's the material. But of course, getting uh, something that, that's solid, like these uh, roller curtains, it's even better. And you can glue them together and have a more or less seamless uh, transition between the different parts. Of course, that's better. I know. OK, so that's the, that's the screen. Let's talk about the structure. The way you need to make your structure is to put a beam against the wall. And I have one here. And it's mounted onto the wall. And you do that on the opposite side as well. And then you measure the, diff the, the distance between this beam and the other beam. Not between the walls, but between the beams. Um, and that value is divided by 2. This divided by 2 is your radius. And so the radius is the measurement you need from the front, where you have a similar beam. And then you go the value, the radius is back. And that is where you mount the side beam here. Okay, so if the if the the radius is let's say um, two meters and twenty, you from that pole in the middle go two meter and twenty back and mount this one. I'll just tear off this material, and you can see the structure like that. So the structure is actually quite simple, and it's uh, it's not very heavy either. But I have this, as I said, it's mounted onto the wall and is. The radius distance behind the center of their center pole. Then I have three sections between here and the center pole. One section, two sections, and a third section there. And there's a 90 degree angle from the center to here. So 90 degrees divided into three sections means each section is a twist or turn of 30 degrees. So you need 30 degrees and you need to do a bit of calculation on the length here uh, in a 30 degree circle. But I'm sure you can find an online tool that can help you with that. Um, and then you need the structure 
to hold it in place. And this is where I think I've made something pretty genius. Instead of just making one beam across here, I actually made two. So I have two pieces of wood in each section, down here and two up there. And each of them, of course, is seven and a half degrees because seven and a half and seven and a half that's 15 seven and a half and seven and a half that's 15 15 and 15 that's 30 degrees so putting these together gluing them together and putting a, a screw in hold them together at a 30 degree angle so when you have the length here correctly you have a 30 degree section with the correct length and here is where it's pretty smart i have this material uh, this piece of wood here that's flexible uh, and i they're very long i think they're three meters each so i reckon i have three down here and three up here going all the way around and i've not mounted them onto these pillars but I've, instead i've mounted them onto the middle of these sections and if you look here you can see there's a small gap here and there's a gap here and there's a gap here so it is held in place by these screws, but then it bends and actually makes more or less a perfect circle. So getting the rounded screen is actually quite simple. Mount it here, mount it here, and then it's going to bend itself around as a circle. And then you just take your fabric and put it on, mount it onto this piece of wood. And I've used these clamps from IKEA. I got them in the curtain department. A few euros. For, for, for 20 something like that it's very cheap and they the, the springs are actually very good and it really holds things uh, together because they, they have small uh, teeth here made of metal so they really really hold things together and they're very cheap so get these from ikea as well and then just put your fret break up and before i end i just want to mention these small marks here that i have here here and all the way down here these are for the calibration uh, in the software you use for your projectors if you put these at exactly the same height all the way around it's just a matter of getting the flyly software to mark these points and then you have your perfect calibration pretty easily so um i use these columns for calibration as well but to sum it up if you want to do a curved screen this structure is actually quite simple and easy to build and you can have a curved screen um, without much effort. So hopefully you can use this as an inspiration. I'm Peter from Builderboy and you guys take care. Bye bye.